Good evening, my name is Jim McMahon, and what I want to talk here about tonight was the uh, coronavirus and how it may or may not affect the upcoming Mega Soul Money Marathon or the local Soul Money Marathons that a lot of these new IFB Baptist churches are uh, doing here. Um, upcoming, I know there's a Wheeling Soul Money Marathon that I'm going to be involved in, and then there's going to be the Mega Soul Money Marathon. Wheeling Soul Money Marathon is March 21st. The Mega Sony Marathon, April 11th, I'm going to be at the one in Fairmont, West Virginia, at Pastor Robinson's uh, Mountain Baptist Church. But as of right now, I'm looking at the news and I'm watching all these different things that are going on around the world and how they're starting to quarantine and how they're starting to restrict the passage of people from one place to another within countries and internationally. So this might actually affect the different countries, uh, especially if you're looking at the European countries like Italy. These countries uh, are definitely going to have more of a restriction than the country here in the United States. Obviously, I'm from the United States of America. If I'm going to be going to the Sony Marathon down here in Wheeling, this is about where I live. Also down here in Fairmont, and that's in West Virginia. So what I believe is going to happen, and I'm just going to go ahead and relate this to an upcoming idea, which we are not uh, privy to yet, but... When you look at the book of Revelation and also when you look into the Gospels, we know the day of the Lord is eventually coming. We don't know when, but we do know that when the tribulation period happens, there's going to be the four horsemen of Revelation, and one of those is pestilence. So what I want to talk to you about, specifically, when you look at the coronavirus and you see all this panic they're having over this virus they really don't know a whole lot about, uh, what you're finding out is that they're already canceling the NBA season, they're canceling the NHL season, they're canceling March Madness, they're closing down Disney World, they're doing all these crazy things to try and prevent this from uh, this virus from getting out into the public when they really don't know what exactly kind of damage it's going to do. We already know what the flu does every year, which it causes anywhere between, I think it's approximately 200,000 to 650,000 deaths per year, and I think this is worldwide. This virus, the COVID-19, also known as the Wuhan virus or the Chinese coronavirus or the novel coronavirus because it's a new strain of the coronavirus. It's not like the coronavirus itself is new. But when they start restricting travel, uh, I'm already getting an email from my gym and they're telling me that they're going to follow CDC guidelines or CDC guidance. And it looks like they may actually be closing it down um, in New York. Governor Cuomo, who is absolutely insane anyway, but he's already restricting gatherings of 500 people or more. Uh, interstate travel may actually end up getting restricted. So there's all these different things that we're going to encounter, and this is the same kind of thing we're going to encounter in the tribulation period. So you might want to look at what's going on right here, because even if we don't actually come into the tribulation period in our lifetime, these are the kind of things that we're going to have to contend with when we're soul winning. Because right now, when you're going out and you're knocking doors, you know, we have free reign here in the United States. The Constitution protects us. But even in the end, even if it did not protect us, saying that we already have these intrinsic rights that are granted to us that are of God, that we have the freedom to do these things, like go out and knock doors and give the gospel, you know, we as individuals, as Christians and as churches, as the body of Christ, we're still commanded to go out and give the gospel, and we're to trust in God for this. And we're supposed to go out and give the gospel regardless of what is going on in this world. So we can't just look at this situation and say, well, uh, everybody's getting sick, so we're not going to be able to go knock doors anymore. I just guess everybody's going to hell. Because if you look at it, look at the tribulation period, where there's going to be lots of famine, pestilence, war, and death, if it's going to stop you now, we're not even anywhere close to that, what would happen if we did enter into the tribulation period? You're not going to be doing anything. So the bottom line is this. You can't stop soul winning. And that is kind of what I wanted to get into here is that, you know, when this goes down and they're going to implement all these different things, they're going to eventually restrict it because I can guarantee you the devil hasn't forgot about us. So when we're looking at all these laws they're trying to implement, all these different restrictions, they're going to cause... The, uh, the people within the United States to be restricted from travel, to be restricted from even probably from going door to door. And that's what we're really talking about here is not being able to go to knock on someone's door because they're afraid you're going to get them sick. That can't be a deterrent for you to not go give the gospel. Or excuse me, I'm just saying it's a double negative. It can't be a deterrent for you to, for, to go give the gospel. So that is something you need to look at. 
as an individual, I mean, obviously, if you're sick, then you're going to want to stay home. But if you're not a sick person, you're a healthy person that does not have any sickness, then there is absolutely zero reason that you cannot go out and knock the door and of somebody. And you just have to trust God that you're not going to get sick and die from this illness. You're commanded of God to go and do this. So you need to just trust in him and to continue to go out into soul win. And that is really what I want to talk about in this video. I haven't even been on here in about a month. Uh, maybe a little bit longer than that. But as these things uh, continue to progress, uh, really take a look at this and see how this hysteria, this insanity that's being pressed by the news media over this virus. And a lot of it is just hype. I mean, look at the stock market. And what you see is this. The, the only metric these people are using to determine whether or not the stock should go up or down is the hype of the coronavirus, which is just insanity. So you see how crazy these things can get, especially when you have mass news media uh, and the mainstream news media out there that's promoting all this hype and panic and fear. And that is going to lead to people not going to want to, they're not going to want to have you go out and knock their doors. But you are still, as an individual that's a saved person, you're still commanded of God to go out and knock these doors. So expect to have persecution, not only because you are giving the gospel in general, all those who love God and Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution, but this is a different form of persecution. They're going to be persecuting because you may bring you may be bringing a sickness or an illness to their door. So that is just another thing you're going to have to contend with. Um, that's all I wanted to really go through in this video. Uh, I'm going to make a couple other videos tonight, I think, and uh, they're going to be talking about uh, walking in the spirit and some other stuff. So uh, you have a blessed day. I hope you enjoyed the video.